Good day. In this video, I'm going to show you my Rubik's Cube solver because it's pretty cool. I just need to sync. Okay. So this is the solver. Well, it's not a solver anymore. It's just a simulator because I couldn't figure out how to solve it. I wanted to make it so that you input a scrambled state and then uh, it'll tell you the steps of completing it by like brute forcing it or something. But I couldn't figure it out, so it's just a simulator at the moment. So you can input your own colors. So we're going to put yellow in here, or white that is. And some yellow over here. And if you don't like it, you can reset it. If you mess up the cube, for instance, if there's too much of yellow, it'll tell you down here. And if there is too many um, face colors of one color, so there's two red face colors here and that's incorrect or invalid it'll tell you that as well and if you have too many distinct colors so there should only be six distinct colors for the cube and if there's more than that it'll tell you it's pretty cool it's fancy stuff and once you're done with that you can lock the strip and use uh, right and left mouse to make moves so I can click on this front face here. I can left click it, left click it, and it will rotate the face counterclockwise. And you can do the same with right click, except it'll rotate it clockwise. You can also use algorithms up here. So I can do um, uh, counterclockwise left and counterclockwise right, and then I can reverse that with RL. It's pretty fancy. Uh, down here, it'll tell you your last move and also if the cube is solved or not. And that's pretty much it for the application. I've got the Rubik's Cube namespace here. I have a Rubik's Cube class and a cube move, which represents a move to make with the cube, and a cube color scheme. So you can specify a color scheme for a cube and then create a cube from that scheme. Then I have this color defect class that uh, represents potential defects in the col uh, the cube itself. And then I have this solver inner namespace that uh, I'm working on. I can't really figure out what to do with it though. I'm hoping I can figure that out eventually. It'd be cool to have the sol uh, the solving logic in there because I can't actually solve it myself. I'm having a lot of troubles with the 3x3x3 Rubik's Cube. That's my solution to everything, is just write a program for it. And uh, I think that's about it. You can find this on GitHub. I have it uh, as the Rubik's Cube simulator. So just uh, build it and run it and you're good to go.